It looked like it was going to be easy as the season progressed, but baseball is almost never easy. There are always twists and turns in a season and the Florida Gators hit their big twist at the end of the regular season when a few injuries had them heading sideways in the last series of the regular season and in the SEC tournament. Brady Singer returned for the NCAA tournament and the team started playing better. Number 1 Florida Gators, 47-19, 20-10 SEC, versus Texas Tech Red Raiders, 44-18, 15-9 Big 12 College World Series Sunday June 17, 7 p.m. ET Omaha, Nebraska, TD Ameritrade Park TV, ESPN2 Now We Are Here. The Gators are where they are supposed to be, defending their crown as national champions and in Omaha in the College World Series for the fourth time in a row. Florida head coach Kevin O'Sullivan likes where his team is at right now. He's got a team that is built on some of the same strengths that have always relied on. Like pitching and his two first-round starters that should throw in the first two games the Gators play. I think the strength of our team right now as it's been for the last few years is our starting pitching, Sully told the media on Friday. Brady Singer has been as good a competitor as we've ever had in this program right there with Alex Fado and Logan Shore and Hudson Randall and a bunch of other guys, and Jackson Coor has developed into a heck of a pitcher for us. Ended up going with sandwich pick with Kansas City, and ironically Brady and Jackson were both taken by Kansas City. We had third starter Tyler Dyson for about half a year, and we had two freshmen named Jack Leftwich and Tommy Mace have stepped up and solidified that role, and Jordan Butler has had a huge contribution to our bullpen this year. And then obviously at the end we've got Michael Byrne back who has been an All-American closer for two years in a row. No doubt it is a luxury at this point on the mound with Singer recently being named the National Player of the Year and Byrne on Saturday named the Stopper of the Year as the nation's best relief pitcher. If there is a difference this year than last it is on offense. Florida was better offensively in 2018 and it showed all over the lineup. SEC Player of the Year Jonathan India picked up the pace at the plate to the tune of about 100 points over last season's batting average. Jonathan India, our third baseman, had an All-American year, 20 home runs for good two-thirds of the year hit about .400, O'Sullivan said. And he's a first-round pick with Cincinnati. Heck of a career for us and heck of a year obviously. Florida has lots of returning parts from last year's team that won it all, India, and junior shortstop Deacon Liput who has upped his offensive game as well in 2018. Austin Langworthy returns in left field and he is hitting his stride at the plate late this season. Nelson Maldonado played all of last year and mostly in right field, but has been the designated hitter for Florida in 2018. The big news of the week may be the return of senior captain JJ. Schwartz, although it appears he would play first base instead of his normal spot at catcher because of a broken bone in his hand. One big addition to the roster and at the plate has been sophomore Will Dalton, who isn't afraid to lay into the ball. One of the newcomers that's kind of put a huge lift in our offense is a young man from Tennessee named Will Dalton, 19 home runs and solidified the middle of the lineup. O'Sullivan said, the Red Raiders, the player that has been the glue for the Red Raiders is sophomore third baseman Josh Young. Young has 97 hits on the year with a team-leading .390 batting average. He also hits for power with 12 home runs, 17 doubles, and 6 triples while notching 78 RBIs which is the 4th best in the entire nation. Red Raider head coach Tim Tadlock can't talk enough about Young. Just an outstanding worker, outstanding young man. Tadlock said Friday, he's got a great passion for developing his skill. He understands he has tools. He's got strength. But you're talking about a young man that's gone from having some tools to, he's developed some skill. He can separate balls and strikes and he's got some power. He can play third base. Could probably, on a lot of college baseball teams, he's probably a shortstop. 
Gabe Holt was the freshman of the year in the Big 12 and is a threat to steal bases, robbing 29 of them this year. Sophomore Grant Little isn't far behind Young with 73 RBI on the season while batting .372. Texas Tech lost their number one starter early in the season and the staff era is a reasonably high 4.40. They have survived and advanced this season on offense and the home run ball, which can be a hit or miss thing in the new TD Ameritrade Park. In the end, this game should come down to the matchup of Brady Singer on the mound and the Red Raider bats. Florida's season outfield will have to play well in a park that usually keeps the ball in play.